Hi everyone! Today I want to take you through a tutorial on how to take a softly focused or maybe even slightly blurry image and make it a lot sharper. So this image I have here is quite nice, but there's just a little bit of softness in it that I think I could remove. To do that, we're actually going to use techniques from frequency separation. If you don't know what frequency separation is, it's essentially where you can take your image and you can make it so that your textures and your colors are separated from each other, which makes it a lot easier to retouch color deformity as well as other deformities without marring color. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So to get started, go to your background layer right here, and you're going to drag that down to the new layer button and duplicate it. Then you're going to grab this one and drag it down and duplicate it. So now what we have here is three layers of the same image. What we have to do now is click off the visibility of this one, then click on your background copy. Go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and what you need to do is just essentially blur your image until you just can't quite see detail anymore. So ours is, uh, mine is already at the right setting, but you might need to drag this around to get to a point where you're just not quite seeing detail, but you are seeing the color shapes still. Okay. So I've just applied that blur to my background copy. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on this copy again and make it visible. I'm going to go up to image, apply image. And now we're going to go ahead and pick the blurry copy we just made. So background copy for me. And then we're going to go ahead and say, instead of multiply in the blending mode, we're going to subtract. We're going to make sure opacity is 100%, scale is 2, and offset is 128. And so what that gives us is this image where it's mostly gray, but if you look really close, you're going to see details of your image. And essentially all that is, is the textures that make up the hard shapes of your image. So with that, we're going to go ahead and say, OK. And now background copy two is this gray layer. But it's not going to be gray for long. We're actually going to go up to this, to our, our blending mode for this layer. And we're going to go ahead down to Linear Light. So now we have our background right here. Background Copy, which is a blurry layer. And then we've got Background Copy 2, which is essentially now just picking up on our textures in the image. So now that this is just textures, if we go up to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast, and we up the contrast, we're instantly sharpening our image. Now, because this is picking up on textures in image, it's also picking up on grain in your image. So there is going to be camera grain left in this image. But since it's a very mild and decently fine textured grain, it's going to be easy to get rid of this later. So we're going to go ahead and say OK, and look at our image. For me, I kind of want to have mine a little bit sharper than this. So I'm actually going to go up to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast again, I'm going to up the contrast again. Click OK. All right. So now mine's looking sharp enough. But you can do this as many times as necessary to get your image to the area it needs to be in sharpness. So now if we zoom in, we are going to see some grain starting to form here on our model. It is becoming more apparent, but that's pretty close in, so we're not actually seeing these details from far away, but we can fix these details for close-up shots. So we're going to go up to Filter, and we're going to go to Noise, and we're going to Reduce Noise. And so now we can actually look at our model while we do this, so we can pick what strength we want our reduction at. and. The interesting thing is, we don't actually have to worry too much about how it's looking on the skin, so much as along hairlines and stuff like that, where there is a lot of texture. Because what we're going to do later is we're actually going to remove all of the grain texture that got added to certain areas. So 
so that's looking good to me. You'll just have to mess with those tools and see what looks best to you for your images issues. So with that done, there's really just a very fine grain. If we zoom out just a little bit, we would actually don't really see any of it from this point. It's becoming pretty invisible. And we're actually going to combine these two layers right here. So I'm going to take background copy and click control and grab background copy two as well, both of these layers together. And now I'm just going to go right click, merge layers. So these are now one layer and all of those effects are now together. So if we click this uh, visibility button, look at how much of a change that was. We have brought in a ton of detail. Everything sharpened up. We haven't gained that much grain at all. So there is still something we can do to this image to make it even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to take background copy 2. We're going to go down to this button right here. You see it with the square with the circle. We're going to click it. What we're doing is we're creating an adjustment layer. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on this right here. And as you see, it's white. What white means is that all of this image is there. Now, if, it's, if we use this button right here above our color pickers, we click that. It should give us a white and a black. So what you're going to use these color pickers for is you're going to use it and your paintbrush to either erase or add back to this layer. So that sounds really kind of complicated, but it's not. If you haven't used these adjustment layers before, I'm just going to explain it really simply. Essentially, if you use your brush right here and you let's go up to full opacity just for this sake but you can always turn that down and you're using white you're adding this layer to here now this is all white so that's not really going to do anything right now but you can swap you can use this little arrow to arrow button right here and that swaps the color pickers so now we have black selected now if I click with black on this layer right here I have to have this one selected what it's going to do is it's actually going to erase this image and we're going to see this background layer or whatever's beneath. So I'm actually going to use black, which is our eraser tool. And I want to get rid of the sharpness that we put into our background. So I'm going to go ahead and just erase out that sharpness from the background so that our image has a more natural background. I like soft focus in the background, so I really want to preserve that. And when you make your whole image sharper, it can kind of look weird. Let's just bring our softness back into most of the image. You can get in really close, get around her arms. And since this um, sharpness adjustment is so subtle, you really just can't even see the difference. The grain is just so subtle because it, all it really is is your in-camera grain. Nothing artificial has been added. And there is now one other thing. So that was kind of a quick job and you might want to get in closer and get the nitty di gritty details a little better. But just for time's sake here, I'm going to go up and show you what you can also do with the skin. So you can use this to re-soften your skin as well. So I can actually go in here with this brush, and since we had a softer beginning image, I can just soften out this grain on her face while leaving all that detail in her hair. And that really makes your image look nice because you've got these nice sharp details everywhere, and then you've just got this nice soft skin. If you don't like how hard, harshly it hits certain parts of the bodies, you can brush that out, like the hand details right there, you can soften those up. So what we're doing is we're just taking what we want as far as sharpness goes, and then just getting rid of any sharpness we don't want with this layer. And that gives you so much control on your image. So here we go. So we're back to here. Now, 
Do you even remember what the beginning image looked like? That's how it started. We had, it is pleasant, but we had a nice soft focus in this image and I wanted to just sharpen it up. So it's as simple as that. You create your frequency separation layers. You adjust them with the brightness and contrast tool until you get the sharpness you want from the contrast tool. And then you merge them together. And then you can use an adjustment layer, this little guy right here, on your layer to adjust how much of that sharpness you want in your image. So that's it. I hope you guys really enjoy that and I hope it's really helpful with your images. I know how frustrating it can be sometimes when you get those shots back and they're just not what you thought they were. Check out one of these tutorials next and don't forget to subscribe for more in the future.